All right, so this the next sideline that I'm gonna go over is the wing gambit. So generally, it's gonna go something like this, this, here, and here. Um, so you're gonna know this is a wing gambit whenever they go B4. Um, so this is one of the few gambits where you actually do capture all the pawns. So take um, A3 and then take. And generally what white's gonna do is go D4, C3. So a bishop D3, we go knight B4, taking away their best piece. So they go C3 first here. And as long as you know this maneuver, you're gonna be good to go. It is very, it is very strange, but kind of strange. Um, and non-intuitive for sure. So bishop d7, bishop d3, and now we go b5. So it looks like a free pawn, but if bishop takes, we go knight takes e5 using the pin trick. Once again, if take, we take backwards, and if take, we take here, and we are super happy here. So b5, what happens if they don't take? So b5, let's say castle. So here we go b4, and if they take, we go knight takes. Once again, we try to get this bishop. Um, if they take like this, now we are just up a outside pass pawn. We are super happy here. Um, and yeah, so lastly, if they take here, we would just take, take, and now we're going to castle ASAP, and you are up a pawn. So we're happy. So the big thing that you want to know against the wing gambit is remember this idea of bishop d7 and then b5. As long as you remember this, you're good to go. I've actually beat a grandmaster with this. It's a really good line, computer refutation. A little hard to remember, but if you do, boom. That's how you refute the wing gambit.